Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to talk more about the firmware on the new Phantom 2 Pro. So, a little while ago, a few days ago, I did a video on some issues I was having with upgrading the firmware in the Android phone. In other words, the Android phone said I needed to upgrade, but it wouldn't upgrade. And the iOS phone said, hey, you didn't need to upgrade. In which I even took it out and flew it for the first time the other day, and with the iPhone and it was just fine. Uh, it didn't complain about firmware upgrade. So I want to try this again. So I said I know I need a firmware upgrade. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select the firmware upgrade and I'm going to hit starting upgrade. And it goes through like it normally does and it says you know downloading is zero percent. And uh, usually goes like this for um, a minute or two. And then we come back with this error. Update failed, restart the equipment, try again. So it's the same error that, <clears throat> excuse me, it's the same error I got last time, chokes me up. All right, so uh, I'm gonna unplug this and let's go to the iPhone. Okay, so now I got the phone unlocked and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna plug this in. And I'm going to start DJ, DJI. This is interesting. It's doing an update to the DJI app as I plug this in. So let's see. Maybe we'll get lucky. Okay, the DJI Go 4 app has been updated. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to restart this, or start it, I should say. And overall status normal. It uh, well, it's still saying disconnected. So let me let me make sure this gets connected. All right. So I'm saying I'm trying to tip this back so it's out. Uh, fly safe. I'm gonna ignore that. Safety tips. Okay. I'm gonna skip the quiz. So I'm ready to go in Vision, even with the updated. Um, Go4 app, this is still showing normal latest firmware. What gives? Now, I've had well over a dozen people write me about this after seeing my other video saying, hey, I got the same problem, especially with the Android and, and they don't have the iPhone. But with the iPhone, it's not doing me any good. So I've, I've tried several different iPhones. I've tried several different Android devices and I keep coming up with the same thing. I even tried the DJI Assistant 2 and the, co the copter wouldn't be recognized by the USB port. So I thought all this is rather odd and I think pro part of the problem with the USB port um, has to do with the Windows driver uh, in particular, but I don't want to get into that. Uh, overall status, normal remote controller update. Look at this. It has now decided um, to do an update. This now after the upgrade. So there must have been a class problem with the app. So let's go ahead. So because it says the controller needs to be updated as well as aircraft needs to be updated. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tell it to update. And let's see what happens. Let's see if this errors out. Now, I've typically had more luck with the um, iOS device and updating firmware in a DJI Bird than I have Android. And that's one of the reasons I also keep two around. Now, one of the things I've had a number of people tell me, and that's why I have this sitting over here, my iPad, is um, a, a lot of folks... I uh, had similar problems and the way they got around it is they used the iPad. Uh, and because I think part of the problem was the file size on Android. Uh, don't ask me why, it shouldn't have been. It, it's a 234 meg file, but it seemed to be that when it was trying to download the file that the connection kept breaking. And I think it, maybe it was the file block size. Um, now I haven't gotten an error on this yet. But it is still saying 0% downloaded, but it seems to be moving. So I'm going to take a little break here, and then let's come back and see what happens. Okay, so after about an hour, it's now updating the aircraft. It took whew, pretty close to, let me see, yeah, it took pretty close to around an hour to download uh, the firmware. Uh, so it's now updating. It's at about 8%, so this typically takes quite a while. 
Now, there are two firmware updates that need to be done, one for the controller, one for the bird. So I'm really not sure. It just says update firmware. Make sure the aircraft and remote controller have at least 40% battery. So um, that's what I'm doing. Uh, the controller has 74% battery. The bird has used one LED of battery. So let's go ahead and give it some time and see what happens now. But so far, so good. I'm encouraged. Okay, so what it did is it upgraded the copter first, then the remote control. Even though the remote control was first on the list, it took uh 22 so it took about 15 minutes or something to move the firmware from the controller to the copter roughly about 15 minutes i'll see if i can put some better time estimates in the uh, comment or in the uh, uh subtitle below uh but now it's doing the controller and it seems to be moving rather quick on the controller which i would suspect that would be the case because it's got a direct usb connection so let's see how long this takes Okay, so it came and says update complete, so I'm going to click OK. Uh, it says update complete on the screen here. I'm going to go to start flight. And uh, showing the back side of my basement, I'm going to say uh, safety tips don't show again. And see if I can get the phone to tip the right way. Um, so I'm down to 70, so it used about 25% on the controller and pretty in almost half on the copter. The, the, uh, you can see the one blinking, it was down uh, to two a second ago and then it came back up again. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and check this again. Uh, latest firmware, so all is good now. So it's clear that there was a problem in the Go4 app and I'm betting yeah, there's still a problem in the Go4 app uh, with regards to Android. One of the things I want to do is do a quick test. So I'm going to switch back to the Android phone and see what the Android phone tells me about the copter. So it says it's doing a version check, checking with server. I'm latest version, this notification will disappear. So this now senses it has the latest version. And yep, I'm on the latest version of firmware. So that's what it took, folks. Unfortunately, this is a common theme that I've seen with the DJI products, is the Android somewhat works with it. Uh, but again, this is not the first time I've had to go to iOS to actually get the install to work for the firmware because Android has failed. This is typically the case for me now. The difference this time was with the iOS, um, it simply didn't know it needed to do a firmware upgrade. So, but as you saw, it did an update of the Go4 app. And as soon as it did that update of the Go4 app, then boom, it saw it needed a firmware upgrade and it did it successfully. So I think that's part of the ticket. Now, one of the things, unfortunately, uh, I think the reality is with the DJI products, you're better off with an iOS device. Now you can pick them up relatively cheap. Um, I picked this 6S up, which works just fine with the copter for about 200 bucks used. Now it's far cheaper than the Crystal Sky. Um, Crystal Sky is like 500 bucks. And then you got to buy all the other stuff, the batteries and stuff. So you're going to be in the Crystal Sky for 700 bucks. So you can get it for about 200 bucks. I think it's worthwhile. Now the thing is, a lot of times you see me fly with the Android phone. This is better screen recording. I have a lot of problems with the iOS device crashing, and during screen recording. But for non-screen recording, the iOS device works better than the Android for running the copter. So it's just the reality of the world. Now, a lot of you might wonder why. In the past, I've been an Apple developer, sort of a, a little bit am. You know, Apple keeps tight control over the structure of iOS, which is basically the operating system of the iPhone. With the Android, it's all over the place. Uh, when I developed mobile applications, I steered clear of Android because there's just so many hacked versions. And it's just really hard to get Android to work right because everybody sort of, you know, does their own fork of it. The only true Android out there is something on a Google device. And so that's really the minority when you look at all the Samsung and everything else out there. So I think Samsung is your second best bet. Excuse me to Google, again, getting all choked up over this. Uh, but again, my recommendation is iOS.
Anyways, hopefully this helped you out. If it didn't, you know, maybe you can go borrow somebody's, um, you know, iPhone, do the upgrade, then just delete the Go4 app off of it to get you past this hurdle. Um, I'm, I'm thinking now that this might actually be recognized by uh, the DJI Assistant. If not, if you're having a problem like I did with Windows, recognizing it, um, you know, search USB driver controllers. I think there might the problem might be in the Chinese UART that's probably used in the USB-C in here. Uh, I don't know that for sure, just a guess, knowing a little bit about USB. So anyways, let me know what you think about for lunch, and we'll see you guys in the next video when we, hopefully now we go fly something again with updated firmware. Cheers.